now let us discuss the sex estimation from various bones now suppose any bone is given like femur humerus one way is how do you identify whether it is male or female one is there is a general difference between male and female bones and then there are specific features of each and every bone a lot of questions you can solve just by the general differences what's the general differences between male and female bones the male bones as compared to female bones are larger or smaller tell me the male bones as compared to female bones are larger or smaller they are larger rougher due to more muscle markings they are heavier they have large or small articular surface they have large surface they have square features females have roundish features females have roundish features so many questions you will be able to solve just based upon the general rules okay now krogman's table if what is the best bone for sex determination what is the best bone for sex determination tell me pelvis pelvis is for sex that is the best for sex determination easy to remember so pelvis if available has 95% accuracy pelvis plus skull 98% entire skeleton 100% skull alone 92% long bone alone like humerus alone or femur alone 80% 80% okay suppose only humerus is present or only femur is present so remember one term pelvis 95 now male versus female so as we know most of the features will follow the general rule cranial capacity mastoid process foramen these will be larger in males or females tell me these will be larger in males or females these will be larger in males smaller in females so glabella supraorbital ridge these will be more prominent in males less prominent in females fronto nasal junction it will be like this in males and something like this in females so it is distinct angulation in females it is smooth smooth distinct angulation is present in males distinct angulation in females it is smooth it's very simple that the male bones as compared to female bones are larger rougher heavier have larger articular surface and have more prominent features more prominent features as compared to female bone that is a general rule this is the fronto nasal junction fronto nasal this this junction okay in males it is angulated like this whereas in females it is smooth females it's smooth just remember it is everything is smooth in female just remember everything is smooth in female okay Thank you.